I need to I can know we stop this throwing one in the test. The idea is lot it's easier to control it this way than it would have been if I had been uh if I'd done it the other way. If I'd done the uh, this moment. Again, sorry but my fucking laptop. Again, we didn't this one, so Getting upgrade off get hit while well, I was waiting for that the freaking for my laptop to fucking stop being attacked at but <laughs> So you didn't right at the convergence of the agree. rivers on Art Rooney Drive. We welcome you to agree in the I does really best. Quit nowhere. Go anywhere. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Play was stopped on that play. We said plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to them the rest of the game. On third down, here's Bell. Nope. No gain there. He went the nowhere. Play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. There's a nice stop for the defense. They've had a tough time containing this guy all game long, but maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. Yeah, every now and then you can actually tackle that guy. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time, and the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. Uh, ups and ups. Off. I can't fucking turn this off. Are you kidding me? And New York set to take the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. He's got a man complete. They'll get 32 yards there. And it'll be first down Giants. And they're going to speed things up here. On first down, Manning. He's going to try and go deep again. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They decide to air it out a little bit on that play, take a shot downfield, but the coverage was really nice. Able to get a hand in and tip it away. They'll send Beckham alone to the left side. Manning again here on second and ten. And this is caught at the eight. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now Manning again. And he's got it. Touchdown. Touchdown. Odell Beckham hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Giants are able to draw a bit closer. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, 
bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. And this will be a touchback. Last year would have come out to the 20. This year they'll move it out to the 25-yard line. And the Steelers set to take the field. I say it, that team's rule. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Wow, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man. Don't give that guy much. Do it on this drive. But, uh, Watch that leverage on this drive. Run there. On second down, Roethlisberger. Oh, he dropped. It dropped. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. On third down, Roethlisberger. And, and we got him. From the pressure, the Giants get there. Yeah, that big four and out. Was just absolute perfect man coverage nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack and that's really difficult to do in today's nfl with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary a good return there call it 13 yards and this offense they're going to have excellent field position they take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field And New York set to take the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent, but you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Stefan Tuitt, the one that got him down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big. Right in four. The distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you can do so many things anyway. You come back. That's a touchdown, baby. All of a sudden, it's a three-point game. Rashad Jennings, his 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Giants have got it back to a one-score game. So they went to the ground game on third, hoping to pick up the first. They also picked up a touchdown. Offensive linemen so used in this situation to having to pass block. All right, you're looking at what it is, third down. They don't care that it's third and whatever. They figure they're going to throw the ball. And when you call a running play, I think you I think you energize them. I think you juice them up because I haven't met offensive linemen yet that likes to pass block more than they like to run block. And they opened up some nice holes there for him, and he took it to the house. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. Ooh, he went... He went nowhere fast. At least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Second and ten. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. And it's oh. Sammy Coates, the intended target. It's being circled. He got that ball. Just and you really can't pin that one on the being, uh, They've got to protect better. And they or, it was about to be uh, hit. Take care of the big guy behind them. In this case, they let him down. Now Roethlisberger. That one, uh, that one, the uh, complete. And another three and out. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him. But he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. Here's Beckham. Oh, shifty. Whoa. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
And here comes the Steelers defense making their way onto the field. And in a tight ball game like this, the defense looking for a stop. You kind of, if whether you're the offense or the defense, you don't want to be the one to screw this thing up. No, not at all. And right now, you've got to figure that the offense is thinking to themselves. This is caught inside the 15. What a play. This all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. Now, that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield. Those guys made that play possible. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. He didn't, so it's incomplete. Yeah, it's even my guy's ball. What the hell is game? I think when they get back in the huddle, the question will be... Yeah, it's supposed to be my guy's ball. How did Cruz not get that ball? What the fuck? The only thing he didn't do after he caught the ball as a defender was get his feet in bounds. That should have been For a You motherfuckers, you're not fucking, fucking 30 feet tall. Yeah, it would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. It's a gain of nine yards. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Oh, they get to the football. Are you fucking kidding me? Offside! Fucking defense! There are fucking too many players on the field. Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking cheater! You did not block that unless you fucking did something illegal. That means there should have been something kind of penalty. Either too many guys on the field or fucking. It should have been fucking offside because you jumped. Oh, you got that ball that quick. Quick enough. Get the quick enough none. On second down, it's Bell. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Another a tie game, you fucking Peter. You are fucking cheating. With six yards left. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. And he's going to go down. Back in his own five-yard line. It's a sack. Defensive end gets in there that time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility of the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time, when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to the guy who's going to throw the football. The tackles, usually more of the run-stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, you want a little bit of everything out of all of your guys. But let's just go ahead and break it down make it simple. The guy who's the right defensive end versus a right-handed quarterback, that's the blind side. He's going after the quarterback. He's going to put him on the ground. They go play action here on first down. That is caught at the seven. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the ten to the seven. And when an offense is doing a nice job selling the play action pass, a lot of responsibility shifts to the linebackers. They're the ones that have to determine run or pass and get to the proper places on the field. The pigskin on the seven yard line now. It's first and goal. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it. And then doesn't run the seven pass. As they move closer, it's second and goal. Well, after last Oops. week, where he kept finding the end zone, what do you have? Two touchdown runs? Yep. He's got to be just a tad frustrated here. Close, but he hasn't gotten in. Maybe. And touchdown. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Victor Cruz. Victor Cruz. With touchdown number seven on the year. And the G Men have taken the lead here in the fourth. Did you see them hold up four fingers to the start of the fourth quarter? They were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. Scoring. Interception, yeah. We get the ball. 
Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They'll start out with a run by Vereen. And he's going to take this one down to about the 46-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. They'll give it to him right up the gut. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. All right, I think you got all very good to get every play fair. And get the ball back to their offense if they want a chance. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. They can't tackle him. And he's taken down. He takes it to the two-minute warning. He's inside the 10 for first. And goal, uh, first man. Still, as fans, I happy at that one. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they search for what could be a game ceiling touchdown. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And a nice little. Now the Steelers put it. Steelers take a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use. At this point, you just let them score. But they're going to like giant or set as we resume play. They're going to let football it's like somebody's going to let the other team score. There's less time to. There's more time to. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. Line of scrimmage at the four. Here's third and goal. Time to. And to get back in it, but nope. Touchdown, Giants. Man, we score anyway. His second TD of the game and 18th of the year. And the Giants add on to their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got... Very 120. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take... We win. What a comeback. We're down 20 to 3. Go to the fourth quarter. We came back and won that 31 20. But 20 unanswered points. Well. I should have used it. I'll get it the next time. Off your week by installing your game plan. Dance week versus the Cowboys. Kick off your week by the Cowboys. Chances.
Uh, you know what? I just realized that the fucking thing has got the wrong fucking game and everything on it. Because the fucking game, the fucking thing. Sorry. Top 10 in passing TDs, and they go up against a Cowboys defense that will need to be on its game. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth, where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton. Because of my fucking computer crashing. Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They've handled all covers through the first three months, a perfect 12-0. Yeah, they're three quarters of the way to a perfect season, and now is where it really starts to get into your mind. We'll see if it affects their play in any way. Meanwhile, for the visitors here, the Cowboys, they've been in a great group. Winners of seven of their last ten on the year. And this coaching staff has to be pleased with how their defense played last... Really? Are you fucking kidding me? You're right, Dean. I think you got the score wrong. It should be the other way around, game. Really? So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in corner number three. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22 yard line. And New York set to take the field. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit. To be up 24 3, not down 24 3. That's a on game. Important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it though. <laughs> this is a really important drive, and we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half too, and they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. They'll give it to him right up the gun, and they'll get it. I don't know why it's fucking I don't know why I know why because of the fucking it wasn't my fault the fucking program's fault for fucking not saving the fucking guest talent us gear crash so didn't they is There we go. Title and game fix. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it, and they've run it well here to start the second half. Cedric Thornton, the one that got him down. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Well, they're certainly running the ball pretty well on this drive, and all I remember as a secondary guy was if you're making a lot of tackles in a game, that's usually not good for your defense. You've got to figure out how to keep things in front of you, because you know there's... Come on. Linebackers into the secondary. Got two. They, they, they give me two, at least. They're surprised. 
That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than oh, first down. a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. I don't care what anyone says. I want a big time back in in this kind of yardage each and every time I step on the field. A tone setter. These guys are hard to find. And a pretty little juke move there. On a I'm first down, but I ain't gonna give him to me. Drive, but that run helped salvage something there because now they, yeah, it's blind to the best. We got to see good blocking, good push by the offensive line. Wide receivers trying to get involved. A good run by the back. And now maybe it'll be a catalyst for them to look at going forward, watching it on tape. Maybe they can keep incorporating that type of a run into their offense. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time. But any team will take that type of run each and every time. And they'll run it here. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Well, that last run makes this a hundred yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Now a first carry for Rashad Jennings. It's a touchdown, baby. Front giant touchdown. Rashad Jennings. His 19th touchdown now on the season. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there. And they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game? Because on that particular play, they had no answer. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. A look at the offense now here coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're... Come on. He was picking down back there. Stop at the teeny game. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. On second down, Elliott. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves him needing about seven here on third down. And the offense needs seven out of this play on third down. Throwing on third down, Romo, complete to Jason. Holding offense, play negated. And another reception by Jason Witten, all reliable for Tony Romo. You know what they say, partner, once you get your first 1,000 catches, it's all gravy after that. <laughs> yeah, one of two tight ends, he and Tony Gonzalez in the 1,000 catch club in the tight end department. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Second down now after the incompletion. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Holding. Are you fucking kidding me? Play negated. Holding. Fucking bullshit. Ezekiel Elliott with his third touchdown so far. Number 13 now. The year. And the Cowboys oh, dang it. Offense play negated. They negated holding offense. You may be a run first team, but you're running against an NFL defense. That's something you're going to touch back. Hard to do. Cherish that moment. Even as he's eager to add to that total. Shane Vereen now gearing up to help. I got away with that because they fucking. Yeah, I. I just got away with anything. But they've got him in the rotation now, and it's proved a good move. And that's what happens when you're a good player. There's a lot more attention drawn to you 
and it's obvious that they had him in their game plan on defense. Not oh, you got to be catch the ball is right in their hands. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. Back to the air on second down. It's Manning. It was not intercepted. <laughs> he dropped the fucking ball! He dropped the ball! the second pick thrown here in the third quarter and we know it was ill-advised are you fucking kidding me are you fucking kidding me this this is what i think of that shit my guy was supposed to get that ball you are fucking you just you just let your guy get the ball you're the guy who's supposed to be getting it my guy my guy your guy couldn't fucking accept the fucking. It's in the game. I ain't putting up with that shit. And then they fucking change the replay. Oh, he didn't drop the ball. They fucking dropped the ball. The ball's on the fucking ground. Help me because he went, went down. Oh, he fucking. Where the fucking ball is out of his hands after the fucking play. The play is over with. But when he's down on the ground, the ball, ball comes out of his hands. It is an incomplete. And the interception is incomplete. It's a glitch, but still incomplete. Can't call it a glitch. Can't beat this. Very good glitch. Kick off your week by installing your game plan. I delay the fucking delete the fucking bunch of fish, fish playing this. But what? Why? I had a game crash when, when we played this. Last night, when we played this uh, during the marathon. And then we had to go back and do the whole thing over again. This one, fucking no problem. No problem. Chris fucking if I can cherry pick so I want to save into the last save. Hello everybody. Alright, Larry, thanks. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan. <sighs> You're really gonna start this again. Moving quickly to the line. Zebra, zebra. On first 
first down. Manning. Caught left side. It's Beckham. It's a gain of 24 that time. And it'll be first down Giants. Remember how much we enjoyed watching him last week? It's the same thing it's this week. Look at those numbers. <laughs> I'd hate to be a defender right now because no matter what they're throwing at him in terms of coverages, he's finding ways to defeat it. And even when he's covered. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Odell Beckham is a rabbit. Yeah. And the Giants able to get this back within a touchdown. And the defensive there, that was a battle. He just made a really nice play. A really nice play, making sure his body position was correct. And how about the throw? Zipped it in there. And it results in the touchdown. They'll try to run it with Marine. Buddy he got in. Oh, my God, he got past the line. The ball got past the line, you liar. There's two points. Again, two points. The ball has to, only has to cross the line. And it did. Two points. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. And not all now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. And maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. And look at this. They get the turnover. Accepted. It's the first round pick. Eli Apple with it. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33 yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football. And especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter, turning it over. Now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful. And sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. They'll run again with Marine. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. On the run, here's Green. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Just a couple yards there down to the 17. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's... Bullshit. That was the same case on that play. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and that will cut the lead down to just two. All right, so this one's now back. That yeah, made more sense to go for the field goal than the Elma way they were saying to go for go for it there. Like, we're having some one-point game. All we need is a field goal if we stop them here. We don't need the, a touchdown there with six minutes to go. Be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. On second down, here's Romo. 
A dump off to Elliott. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. How the hell did they get it, it, it through that, all that traffic really anything? After that last completion. I know most Easily. of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Romo now to throw. And this is out of bounds. Line, but no, they'll say out of bounds. He caught it, but was not in bounds. Incomplete. Now, now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Whoosh! He won't go down. Only 29. They're refilled. A good field position. First and 10. And New York set to take the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drop. They'll take it. Yeah, when you described it. Not ideal. But they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field. You're down. You were down by what the? Yeah, they'll be going for six. Five. You need to. They stick on the ground again. It's Marine. Right. They take what you get. You know, it's a three points a minute. If you get enough field goal, that give you a lead. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the That's first down. You often control the game. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. They'll run here with Vereen. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. Byron Jones in there to make the tackle. And let's see what the defensive coordinator may have up his sleeve here to try to get this final last stand and win this football game. Here's Vereen. And he'll be a little... And that first down. ...here at the 26-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Now a handoff here to his running back. They'll be brought down at the 21. Get this to the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They face a second down, but they are in field goal range. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Call it again. We fair and one. Sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. And on the ground they go with the running back. Give him a yard on the play, and he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down. I'm not short sure of that first down game. I'm going to disagree with that fucking goal. Because that's a fucking first down. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. They run for it with Marine. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14 yard line. Now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. There you go, so they can be able to get the ball back. The bang left. As we resume play. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he will take it off. Touchdown. G-Men have taken the lead here in the fourth. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Giants defense working their way back onto the field now. And let's see if they can get one final stop with this crowd behind them. And let's face it, as much as we want to say it's all about the guys on the field, they can get some help right here from the home crowd. And they're going to try their best to get them motivated, get them... Yeah, 12th man on the field that they, uh... Keep them in that going to go the, uh, the 11th, 12th, whatever you call it. And it came right out of the, the Cowboys and the right in the Giants play in the end. Oh, it's going to hurt. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams. The Giants win. Yeah. Great available. Kick off your week by installing your game plan. We did get more points than we game plan too.
even if we did a bit six or seven times a week, all big games, I think it's over until that. Because <laughs> all three of them of um, Mass Effect games, uh, I don't think we would finish before Andromeda comes out. Breath of the Wild comes out. I think Breath of the Wild because Breath of the Wild comes out before it. And So we'd have to finish before March. <sighs> March third. Get even longer cast every day. You know, I don't. I don't think we'd be. I don't think I'd be able to. Oh, we fish a good portion of. One on our replay. We just continue to replay one and continue to mail our decade from where we left off on one, but. Continue on from there and then, like, fish up one and then continue on from there. But. But yeah, there's no way. It just froze up. It's in, like, Delta Uniform, Tamla. But, uh. I just say it's nice seeing a lot of people playing. Play a Mass Effect. In preparation of a drama coming out, it's really cool to see that. Really? Check out for the field goal. Oh, he did. He did get in well. Okay. What, 37, 27. The goal. So out now come the Lions. One possession game. <laughs> Time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? 
Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday. Give them a bound. That's, that was huge. Having to go downfield, limited timeouts. Let's get the clock moving, then let's time to break the ball. Let's give her less time. Probably the last play. How much pressure will the defense bring? And how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. One last throw here for Stanford. And oh, it's intercepted. Dad's win again. Upgrade. Kick off your week by installing your game plan. Everybody. Against the week 16 against the Eagles. They're way too strong. But ain't nobody saying sorry. The speaker's so blown. No one knows what it is. But we keep it. Kick off your week by installing your game plan. We got the rest of our lives for the rest of our lives. I love the soundtrack this game. Better than last year, that's for sure. Thursday Prime Time game. speed things up here back to throw now a desperation throw deep downfield the okay. pro bowler Odell Beckham the intended receiver and it's second down on every offensive coordinator every play caller sheet they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up and they just did and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play that's 
going to hurt. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. Manning to Beckham, a big play there. 42 yards. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And now the Eagles going to signal. Eagles put all timeout. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. It's a kicker. Back to throw. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed him. Instead, second down. Not only did their drop it look like an interception in the end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. They'll look to throw, and he can't corral it. Oh, come on. If he'd been able to hold on, instead it brings up third down. The missed opportunity.
everyone. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for the Giants, they've indeed run the table here on the regular season. They finish a perfect 16-0, joining the 07 Pats and the 72 Dolphins as the only teams to ever do so. After the 72 Dolphins, the only one to win the Super Bowl because the Giants beat the Pats in 07 in the Super Bowl. So this loss will mean they finish the season. Upgrade available. Kick off your week by installing your game plan. This week, the wild card we don't play because we're. Goodbye. Kick off your week by installing your game plan. Got to the Panthers, Saints, Bulls, Bengals, Bears, and Cowboys. Well, Patriots, Raiders, Bills, Titans, Bengals, and Nets. Giants, Seahawks, Cowboys, Saints, Bears, Panthers. I feel like nothing like what we have in real life. Yeah, we're playing next round. The first in our divisional playoff game. By the Panthers. I'm like training. I will say this. Whoever we play in the Super Bowl would not be as hilarious as the year we played the Browns in the Super Bowl in one of these games. Grand games. Yeah. We played the Browns. I wish I was joking. I have a highlight of that. Let me, let me, let me find it. Uh, okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. This is so funny. So the divisional round now, two steps away from playing on the biggest stage in sports. It's the Panthers going. Hey friend, I got, I got on YouTube too. With that, let's send you up to Met Lines. Yeah, we're playing Carolina. What do you see? Oh, it's snowing. Damn. And in the air, three inches fell overnight, and we expect more as this game wears on. Should be interesting here at MetLife Stadium, just outside of New York City. Coming.
play the Cowboys and beat them again. Then we're gonna play the Bears. The Bears. We're gonna play the Seahawks. In the end, it's in the end again. Raiders and the Patriots are right. Here we have to the, the Snow Bowl. The Tuck Bowl. The Tuck game. That's all, no, um, you know, the most infamous AFC Championship games came down to a rule no one ever heard of. And I still think it was made up on the spot to save Tom Brady and the Patriots. Then it goes to the Super Bowl. It was their first championship season. And it was on a it was on a rule nobody had never been enforced ever in football. What happened is he went to uh he went it was the uh the um it was a stupid thing where they if they get cause cause Brady went to throw but he faked the pass and he tucked the ball in he tucked the ball back. Didn't throw the ball but because of that he got there was a tuck rule. I don't know. How does that work? And just, it's such a stupid, such a stupid ruling that made no sense to anybody. And still, years later, I'm still shaking her head like, "What?" How does that a rule? Something like, "What?" I pretty much was. I was like something. It sounded made up on the field. I still to this day say it was. Since being hurried, he got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. One receiver left, three to the right. Manning to throw. He finds back and complete. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now Manning, looking deep downfield. This is caught inside the 15. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. But we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of... Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. 
So now it'll all. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So now it'll all come down to Robbie Gold. This for a trip to the Super Bowl. And he missed it. It's no good. Are you kidding me? Oh, you fucking kidding me. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, and you're not going to too many times shorter than that one. You cheating piece of shit game. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. They come out here in the eye. First down, this is Rawls. Oh, he shifts past him. Oh, he's got a little daylight. Are you fucking kidding me? No. No. You're not fucking doing that shit. You are not doing that shit. I won the fucking game. You're fucking cheating me. You're fucking me. Fucking said I fucking pushed the button twice. I only pushed it once. You fucking lied. You fucked fuck me over on the field goal. I fucking won. I said, no. Oh, I'm going to give you a put. I'm going to fucking. You ain't doing that shit game. Homie, don't play that shit. My God, that was fucking bullshit. That was cheating. And I ever hit the fucking crossbar? I have no idea. The crossbar, the fucking pole, whatever it was, I fucking. So what the fucking more way it was should have than it fucking did. Of course they were playing fair, but again you have to fucking stop teening your stop fucking making sure you're on ass. I got a chance to read to the field goal. I'm the king, like I'm from Akron. I'm going overboard. Somebody called a captain. And when it comes to getting checks, I always want the fat one. I'm so I can sing to a chandelier. My floor, a glass of spade, and yours a can of candle. Too many, too many, too many buttons. Not enough. These fucking the spot is coming. Shoulder, no shoulder, shrugging at your nugget. Stick it like acupuncture and madness, honey. Knock on the side door three times and have your money. Or get to stepping like Kappa Stomp and I slap. I'm having lunch with Italian Sunday. Don't ask the subject. Lord, why you took rabbit from me? He said, don't ask me nothing. Too many bodies, too many, too many. Stop with the worst song in the sound that I can read. Fucking, I heard it stung you. It's going to be trouble. Yeah, this is really stupid. I got over ten. We saw a lot of points. Overtime comes. The defenses, they clamp down. Rather amazing, isn't it? Because would you have even thought that we'd get to overtime after what we witnessed for four quarters? Not at all. And have zero points. What the fuck? Side? Not a chance, right? And somehow it happened. We always talk about making adjustments. Maybe um, game. four full quarters in order to get an adjustment. Got one good period in for both defenses, and now they go home. You buying tonight? Ah, uh, I thought it was you. I did last week. I did the last two weeks. Oh, I was trying to go dinner, for three. Dinner on you, my good Tried man. Tried to go for three. Now the game's frozen. Second time it's frozen today. I was frozen today. I was frozen today. <laughs> it's second time I froze today. I did that rolling the Lions game.
the first attempt at that. Please the game I'm just deleting delete that game and treat him up there. That's our point. No game. There we go. There we go. At least we didn't have to do that last play again. Tell the game froze because the, the, they were just all in the same mo motion that there was not going to do again. Should not take that long to get there. Get the ball. So a tie ball game here as the kicks away. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. Oh, he shifts past him. Yeah, he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down at the 21 yard line. And New York set to take the field. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, it's well, I don't only have one timeout. You're supposed to get two timeouts in overtime. Still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game. Because... Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. The 30. And they oh. Catch him Damn. Almost. Won it there. A huge play there in overtime. 68. Stick on the ground again. It's Marine, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Really, we need to get to the end zone to get first down. We need to get to one. Now, and this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Here's Marine, and not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. They'll run. It's Marine. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's. Like I said, we all we needed to get to that one, and we did. Two is not necessarily just a running. And now Manning wants to talk this over. He's going to take a timeout. It'll be their third and final stoppage here in overtime. And we'll be. Yeah, except we're supposed to get two timeouts, not three. Everybody gets. It doesn't carry over from the fourth quarter. It's a glitch because. I'm guessing. Touchdown! This was the goal before they started the season to play in a Super Bowl, and that's exactly what they're going to do. We went in overtime. A huge run on the first play in overtime, and played the lead. This one, they're going to be able to break it out now because their goal is to get there. The touchdown for the run for touchdown in the win. Overtime, um, it's, it used to be the first score in the NFL. They changed it because a lot of their people complained. Um, if the other team would get it, if they, they win by a field goal, so they 
actually started in the playoffs and then they start in a regular season, um, if you can only win, um, you only win, uh, if, uh, On the first possession, he would score a touchdown. Oh, the Patriots again. Kick off your weak vine stalling. I mean, uh, I said we're going to do the game to fighting moments. Super Bowl time, baby. It's been a long fortnight of anticipation, but kickoff of Super Bowl 51 is just about upon us. For these players and coaches, it's the culmination of a lifetime of dreams. Which team will lift the Lombardi Trophy? We're about to find out. It's the Patriots going up against the Giants. So the time has come. Let's see. Giants have beaten the Patriots twice in the Super Bowl. here in the first but a third down situation forthcoming let's get into the action and five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down now Brady that Amendola with a catch oh crap Before he's taken down. holding offense play negated Test to check in on as we've got a third down situation looming. Defense sinking pass. They've got the nickel set out on third and six. Brady. And he's got Bennett. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Again, play negated. Holding offense. drive going and now it's first and goal can they finish it off and punch it in the end zone the offense operating inside the 10 at the 8 here it's first and goal give him three on the game there second and goal so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things but the defensive guys Hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. They'll run again with Marine. Cut down. Touchdown, Giants. Shane. Not too much time has elapsed yet here in this one. Let's get you into the action here early in this first quarter. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. So they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got to a good rhythm. You see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> That's caught inside the 20. They get 39 yards out of that one. And it's good. Yeah. These coaches told us they wanted to take the top off this defense. They wanted to be able to stretch them downfield. They showed it pretty well there. And they knew that they were able to do that. It would open up everything else. But how did they truly get it? Back up. 
Well, Bell Beckham Jr. But that's the Kickstarter right there. Eli Manning finding his guy, Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah, oh, the B. It really is, but what really makes it work is just oh, a right. Oh, his hand. Ugh. Because we know OBJ, he can run pretty hot and get excited out there. Sometimes just one handed grabs for him. It doesn't matter what it is. Just throw it up there, he'll go get it. Again, they'll throw with Manning. Touchdown. Yeah. There's a stop. Yeah. And now they call on Steven Goskowski. His career long, 57 yards, set just a year ago. This will be from 56 yards out. Nope. Not even close. looking for a big third down stop here they're already down on the scoreboard just trying to get the ball back to their offense on the run here's Marine that should be a first down yep and it will be zone for this offense it's second down at six yards to go they'll run here with three and he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11 it's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains and that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run and at that yardage you look like a fish out work trying to get up there for a second and they'll go with the ground attack here and able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up. Okay, they'll need to get to the end zone. They got a first down. But still, a good first down run. That's what an offense okay. calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You set up very well for the rest of the drive. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. They know that old expression. It's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit. Come on. All day of play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough hey. game for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. But forget knowing where the first down line was. This defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. It's like I have to go a little bit of it, at least. I got Scarta. Then at least a 10, that's 7. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. One receiver left, three to the right. One final try now for Manning. Ugh. Incomplete. One I say I have one of my pants. It's always tough for the guy. Play coming up for this defensive unit. They're down, but just by a bit on the scoreboard. Can they get this third down stop in the third quarter? Here's the former seventh round pick, Rashad Jennings. That's gave you a first down. The drive will continue. Big first down. for this defensive unit they're down but just by a bit on the scoreboard can they get this third down stop in the third quarter they'll give it to him right up the gun and he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19 yard and that a first down baby on the pickup
Ugh. They were they were expecting to run there. They ran right into it. Good check here right there. Yep, wait a minute, wakeable. They've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire. That's going to be the five. Six yards on the pickup and it leaves him with a first and goal. And a really long drive here and it goes. The first and goal is right. That was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to the guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. It's a touchdown, baby. Super Bowl and the Giants add on to their lead. Not only touchdown them. This offense has marched the ball down the field nicely. In good position, can they finish the drive off? First and ten in the red zone. Into the red zone now, man. Oh, off his hand. Damn it. That's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Back to the air on second down. It's Manning. And he knocks the ball. Oh. Damn it, Cruz. While we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore, I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion and both sides trying to get to the football and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Throwing is Manning on third down. And that is caught. Cut down. Offense forced to go for it down a bunch here in the fourth quarter. Now Brady got to have this one. He's got time in the pocket. And he's brought down. Sack. It's a sack and a turnover. A lot of points put on the board. So sack Brady, yeah. It feels good. Second half ball in the red zone. And they'll run it here. And yeah. he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second. And oh, the ball is on the five, and it's a four. That would be a game. want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the and he is in. Touchdown, New York. Shane Vereen with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. Fourth quarter, and it's kind of getting to be desperation time here for this defensive side. They need to get the ball back to their offense. They have a chance to do that on third down. Yeah, but there isn't not enough time anyway if they did. Give him a yard on the play, and he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down and... And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This from 54 yards away. And Gold is able to put it through. And that will extend the lead out to 24. So it's three more points, and that widens things out even further. That means they got to get three, uh, two point conversions on top of it. It was over. We win! We beat the Patriots third time in a row. Third time. Super Bowl. Yay! And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality.
That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see. The oh, Brady, he's crying. Or is the, the uh, Brady with the, the Michael Jordan face? It's be an incredible feeling. Mean when they need it. Long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. And they end this year just how everybody wants to end the year, holding the Lombardi Trophy. What a season for them. What a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth. For Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next season right here on EA Sports. Yeah, baby, yeah. And that, my friends, gave me it for today, this afternoon. I know it's today because we're going to be back in about four and a half hours. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're Mario Kart 8 tonight. Uh, we're still in the Man. Um, that'll be tonight. Uh, then uh, tomorrow we'll continue to watch Sucks 2. That'll be tomorrow and Tuesday. Wednesday will be only Wednesday. There'll be shows 16. Thursday, more Mario Kart 8. Racing with Great D. Thank you. Friday, Friday, Saturday, continue on with, um, continue on with the, continue on with, uh, Watch Dogs 2, and next Sunday, uh, Mark 8, on tonight, because I will not be here, uh, I will not, I'm actually going to the movies, so I will not be around, I got the post and the post, uh, off season stuff on, on the time, but, um, we're about five hours. Uh, almost five, four and a half hours now, so, yeah. So, yeah, that's the upcoming schedule. New channel, like, stay at the follow button. We got lots of games coming up because I'm going to be doing more men, more. NBA, more NHL, more W2K17, and lots more, including uh, we're also got coming up um, Breath of the Wild in March, uh, Mark 8 Deluxe in April, uh, Mass Effect and Drama also in March, and will be show 17 in March. We got we have lots of stuff coming up. Um, yeah, follow me on social media, see when I go live, and I go live, post or anything, it's there, all kinds of games from us, Facebook, Twitter. In YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube page for all the places past, present, and future, including our, including our playthroughs of of a Four, Mass Effect, Mass Effect trilogy, um, Dogs One, and lots others. Well, to guess that, here's some ways in a world save you money. Other than the fuck, other than my internet just. Um, I mean, my computer just being a pain in the butt. Everything else was fine today. And the freezes. Which, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, you could do on that stuff either. I mean, this is what it is. It's a stupid game and I want to work properly. <laughs> yes. So, until t t tonight, when we're back with more market.